Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. We just got a tram pulling up to Sandhurst's busy tram stop there. Although, I will say, that is because our commuter train just dropped off a bunch of passengers. And if you stayed for the, uh, the cab ride at the end of the previous episode, which, by the way, you don't have to do, it's there as an option at the end of the videos for those of you who enjoy the cab rides. So yes, don't have to watch them, but if you did stay for it, you'd have seen we had a slight issue on this corner that we're looking towards, at the, where the bridge goes across the river. We'll take a look in a minute. But we had a sneaky slowdown. Yeah, we slowed down to 66 miles an hour. Our express should be heading to that corner right now. And, uh, we're going to go and fix it. Then we're going to place our headquarters somewhere on the map. I do have a place for it. And it's a simple rule I follow, which is I place it wherever I place down my first train station. Can you remember where that was? You eyes up. It's December the 24th in 1948 on our map anyway. And this was the uh, issue this was the slow corner i thought obviously incorrectly that uh, we had this at 75 miles an hour however if we bring up the speed layer we do indeed have a cheeky little 66 there well and a 72 as well so yes it is an actual slowdown for this corner sometimes they'll slow down uh, but signaling would be one and uh, some strange spacing that happens occasionally once your network gets uh, a little more complex. But uh, for now, this is a simple matter of redoing this corner so our express, which has a long old journey, doesn't have to slow down here. So we'll take that off. We'll try and redraw this so that it's uh, full speed round here, which might be a bit tricky. One thing we could do is remove this section of track here because technically we're not using it. And uh, I don't know whether we'll ever use it because when we go expressy express, it's going that way. And we'll have our big fancy bridge there. We'll try and get it in. If it's too much hassle, we'll, uh, we'll go for the other option, which will definitely be 75 round there. The problem we have is is we're on a corner and we have another switch as well. It does look like it wants to do it. The other option is to uh, bring it past that point and do it from there. 74. Do we mind one minute? Do you know? I think 74 is fine. It's better than slowing down to 66 because we've got to speed back up again. If we slow to 74, we're going to be back up to speed before you know it. Not ideal, but it will save a lot of messing around. And we have our train up here, which you'll be pleased to know, Garish Purple has gone. Or mauve. And uh, we've gone with a uh, nicer deep purple. There we go. How do we do round this corner? I guess we can take a quick look, right? We're just going to go over this bridge, hit that corner again. And if you haven't watched the cab ride, uh, we can see the difference now. Let's see what sort of speed we get. And uh, maybe go back and watch it at the end of the previous episode. I can see a plane up there that's landing. Did that slow down at all? I didn't see it. Did that even slow down? I think we just fixed it like that. There we go then. Lovely. I see the, uh, as we went past there, we've got a new tram. That's interesting. I noticed the speed is 25 miles an hour though. And I think these are, these are rated at 37, aren't they? Yeah, 37. I need to test out whether the same applies with uh, trams as it does with trains. Meaning if you put something that's rated slower on the line, you'll earn less per passenger, just inherently. I don't want to do that, really. 
do we need another tram here or is it just the fact that we're we're just catching up with our well there's another one coming down here that hasn't got many people on which is understandable because we've only just technically made all the changes and I think it will be a bit of a knee-jerk reaction at the moment. We should let that settle down, shouldn't we? And uh, should we take a look down here as well? Well, there's our meat and our fish. That's that train or the journey that was up here when we were doing all the changes to the station. Um, we might put another one on here. There's, there's quite the journey to go. Close that now. 58 meat on board. That's not bad, is it? Yeah, I think we can go for another tram on here. I don't know how many we've got. We've only got two, haven't we, at the moment? Yeah, I'd like to get on top of that. Should we do two or four? Just do three for now. There we go. We'll stick another one on there, ready for any passengers. We do have three people on there, but... Uh, I forgot to put something in at the end of the uh, previous episode, which was, we don't have a way to get across. I mean, they will teleport over there, but we may as well add it in. There we go. Better. Yeah, the finishing touches. There we go. We won't send it all the way to the end. We'll just have a, a shelter in the middle. Some people like to stand out in the sun. Like Eleanor. Wait, Eleanor Evans was the, the uh, person we were looking at, wasn't it? At that bus stop. I'm sure it was Eleanor. There we go. There's our uh, express. We'll check up on that throughout the rest of the series. And improve it as we go. It's got to go all the way to Worthing at some point. It looks better in the deep purple, doesn't it? Yeah, much better. Uh, it's going to pick up how many people? Just three now. Three people already. We do stop at each station for a little while, just as you would with a, an express. And later on, that will account for any of our trams. Five people on that. They've got to be heading on to this, but this is about to leave. Yeah, you've missed the train. <laughs> Only just. That will eventually balance itself out. Oh. That's got to be gutting seeing the train leave when it's... What's the uh, frequency on this? Over a year? No, that's the wrong one. Uh, this one here. 26 minutes. More than two years. Well, that's not right. Two cycles, we have to call it now, because it's not years, is it? No, there's 12 minutes every six months now that we've got our time on half speed. I think it's time for headquarters, though, don't you? Let's head over to Loughton, where we started out originally. We're still not picking up enough on this, although we've got the option to change that to a German crocodile. I'm going to place our HQ in a very businessy type place. We're going to hit the build button and close that. I'm just going to place ours here. I like it here. It's uh, where our first station is, as long as we've got our our little gate at the front there and it, it's modest isn't it it's a bit mansiony uh, but there we go guys we're in grand t transport i could have chose a better font perhaps and maybe even centered it a little bit that that looks awful but anyway sign aside there's our headquarters Ooh, little vines going up there isn't that lovely Loads of information in here. Our company value is what? Nearly half a billion? Uh, I, I tend not to look at this. And it's not the last 12 months either, is it? Anymore. No. It'll be the last six months. But anywho. There we go. We'll just scroll through there. How many trucks do we have? Out of interest. Total tunnels. Total bridges. We have a nice mixture, don't we? No high speed yet. Plenty of electrified track though. Total tracks, 91,698. I think top length rail, wouldn't that be 446 miles, not meters, possibly. No, I don't know what that is. Top length, 
rail. Wait, that's is that the longest line? Maybe. Uh, if we hover over it, do you, do you tell us? Not the most descriptive. Right, cargo transported. Impressive. Ah, oh, passengers are catching up a little bit. Well, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. You can relocate it as well. Well, there we go, guys. Uh, yes, since you're on the way back, shall we upgrade you to a big, chunky uh, crocodile? Your line rate's not bad. It's going to fluctuate. The reason it'll fluctuate is because we have uh, the transfer up here. But you're not doing bad. Oh, you're loading straight away. You might have missed the pickup then. Possibly. Yes, there's nothing on the platforms. You missed the pickup. Let's change you over for the uh, the beefy crocodile. This one down here. Because you're, you're quite a monster as far as length goes and weight. Let's see what that does for our line rate. I'm not sure. It should help out. It's much more powerful. So we can definitely pull this weight a lot easier. And uh, get up to speed a lot sooner. Today is about uh, balancing some of our lines and getting them up to speed. They're probably okay though. Yeah, if we look at consumers here, 400 to meet on there. Our other crocodile, we've got a twin crocodile thing going on. There we go, double crocodiles. We've got the Swiss version and the German version. Our Swiss version is just getting up to the top of the grade. Top of the hill here. Which we, by the looks of things, need to add at least another wagon on there. Because we're not meeting the 400 line rate that we do need to meet. Should meet. We don't need to, but it's ideal, isn't it? So yes, we'll wait for you to uh, unload your oil. Just in case you decide to delete it. And there we go, one and a half million. Not a bad payday. Right, pause that there. Let's get another wagon on the back of you. That should be close to the uh, 400 we need. It's saying uh, 1204 down there, guys. Interesting. Well, it's certainly got a lot more power. We'll watch it come in. Oh, I don't like that. Let's have a little bit of smoothing in an official episode. Just there. That's uncalled for. There we go. Lovely. That's better. Yeah, that wasn't very nice at all. I, we wouldn't build a big yard here. Or a big uh, depot. And, and have divots in the ground either side of the uh, foundations. That would make zero sense. There we go. No noise pollution here. <laughs> it rattles along down here. Look at the size of Loughton now. Goodness me. There we go. Let's see what uh, line rate you got there. We should go and check on our original iron steelworks place that we've got over that way. Yeah. What are you saying now? Because we had to pick up some fuel on the way back and it will be slower loading the fuel it looks like we might be good and what about the the fuel itself the fuel and the refined oil we're doing okay there all right we need to check up on our deliveries as well we should do that before we head out and um rightly so i think we're a little bit behind let's just check on the consumers Mablethorpe and sutton which is the one up here we've got 154 line rate to meet and we've got 150, really. Oh, are we doing anything spectacular up here as far as... Uh, no, we're doing the right thing up there. I don't think we can eke much more out of that. We could change that to a high-speed road. That's just unfortunate. I say we stick one on there. Why not? There we go. I'd rather have them sat there waiting than miss out on some deliveries. Should we go over now and check on our our coal and iron lines? These are just pleasant. I <laughs> like the bit of road we've got here. It's because I don't know what I'm actually doing with this yet. Um, 
we could run the roads and connect them. It, there's no reason, I don't think. They're not connected to a town. Yeah, this isn't a main connection. So we don't have to worry too much about that. We have both a coal and iron train. Having a little bit of a race. There we go. Good to see. I think they're probably both doing 50, aren't they? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> the coal train has the inside line. So it's, it's gaining slightly. Not by much. No, it's straightening out now. But we can check the line rates here. We've got 800 on the coal. 827 on the iron there. Beautiful. That looks like it's about balanced. We could maybe drop a wagon off this one. Given that, it's quite the, the way over. The problem is we might drop under sometimes. So, uh, yeah, I think we're just perfectly balanced, aren't we? And 200 on the steel as well. Absolutely marvellous. What are we at over here? Oh, we're, we're actually short. Look at the timing. We're actually short a little bit on our line rate. We might as well throw us another gondola on the back there. There we go. Get you in. That should take us a little over 200. And we'll start to clear off this platform then. How many do we take now? 88. That should be plenty of room on our platform. Uh, we've got 40, 80, 120. There we go. You should now balance out at 212. You'll get on top of that as we're slightly over. And then eventually we'll just be waiting maybe a few seconds while we uh, allow the factory over here, which is producing constantly and consistently. We're a little bit behind on our coal, but that was all the uh, changes we did where we used to have that very convoluted line in fact we went through a few iterations didn't we of uh, methods that you can deliver both the ores to the uh, to the steel works should we check on deliveries then since we're at this line this is the last part of the or the last piece of the puzzle it looks like uh, we're delivering quite a lot are we let's take a look consumers 290 to meet. I don't think we're anywhere close to that, are we? No, that's going to be two trucks. Manage vehicles. Let's get uh, a couple more trucks on there. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Is that closer? That really 294. Surely not. I'll tell you what. We'll uh, we'll check back up on that. It's. I don't think we need any more than that. To be fair. That should be fine. Now, what are the finances like on that anyway? It's not the best way to deliver goods. Or, well, okay, that's the wrong wording. It's not the most profitable way to deliver goods. The best way to do that would be to have like a, a train drop off and then a single truck line picking up any of the slack. But I would like a little bit of uh, variation on my map. I can show you the different approaches you can take and still make a profit. Oh yeah, did I ever look at the, the actual finances? I don't think I did, finances. It's pleasant, isn't it? Yeah, income of about a million and uh, outgoings, of what, nearly 400k? 600k profit, I'll take it. When we uh, go to Luggershaw there, I feel like we do the train approach. We're going to actually take the tools direct into Luggershaw or somewhere deep into the industrial place, which is here. And uh, we'll, we'll have trucks waiting at some point when we don't reach all the uh, destinations. Is that everything we've caught up on? I think so. I think everything else is just fine. We've got the other steelworks over here, which is, yeah, I think this is doing okay. These numbers will fluctuate, especially when you're slightly above, then it will show occasionally that you're slightly below when you've got to wait 
for a pickup. It's a little bit worrying when we're doing the pretty little dance that we've got going on here. Um, the coal, however, I'm not sure on. I'm sort of tempted to add a bit more on the coal. Um, in fact, I am. Manage line. Uh, manage vehicles, even. Let's just throw an extra wagon on the back there. There we go. <laughs> I like the condition is bad. Even though I think the loco is fairly new. That's because it's taken into consideration the age of our wagons here. Which have pretty much been on since day one. And a big old payout coming up. Coming up for our uh, iron. Really? The odds on that. 797, 797. Beautiful. Let's see what that does. These will adjust. Usually. Shall we see if that helps our line rate for our, our coal? I think it will. As for our iron, it's, it's just fluctuating, isn't it? Yeah. I think we're good there. I can't see us having any issues. It could have been a moment where this stopped producing as well. That happens occasionally uh, when the supply chain is interrupted. We did have that issue, didn't we? Over at our plastics factory where it just uh, threw a, a bit of a mishap, mishandling of our goods. <laughs> We lost the load, and that did not please our our goods factory there. It's not plastics, is it? No, it's goods. We're bringing plastic, though. What's the line rate now this has settled down? 72. There we go. We are absolutely back where we were. And we have one less air aircraft, I think. Or is it? It might even be a more than that. It does look like we have room to uh, thread some more in there. But uh, I would like them to space out a little bit. Although saying that, we do have a lot going on. There we go. Production underway at the goods factory. Uh, over over here is just doing its thing. I feel like we might, might need another wagon on here. After last time. Yeah, we're well and truly not keeping up. Should we throw one on here? Poor old thing is absolutely destroyed. It's fine. We'll replace you at some point. It doesn't really matter, does it, out here? Let's get you another wagon on there. See if you meet the 400. That's better. Yes, 20 will be better. You'll catch up now. Money's looking healthy. We've got to keep an eye on our passenger line, though. Uh, especially our commuter. I'm unsure as to uh, whether we should have a new... A new train on our commuter. It will unbalance it a little bit, but they should space out. Ideally, you would want four, wouldn't you? One per stop. Given the length of it anyway, that, at the very least. But we don't really have the demand at the moment, or do we? Well, you've probably just dropped off. Yeah, we're not. We're not overcrowded there. Our tram's already looking a bit old. They're full, though. I don't know whether they're actually making us money. Are they? No. Well, maybe. The best way to look would be uh, the finances, wouldn't it? Hey, look at that. They're alright. They're about breaking even now. That's nice, isn't it? I love that. What are the line rates here? It's going to be hard to balance these. Uh, as, as it gets more complicated and we bring more lines in. Um, but 77 I I think we could probably do with a, another tram on there anyway these two combined is is quite the throughput once our express starts to pick up we want to get people in and out of town don't we as soon as possible to their destination and then from their destination there we go we are picking people up though alright yeah you know what we'll put another one on and that takes us to how many? Six? Six isn't bad. I think it said at the bottom, Grand. Well, let's check over at Twickenham. Twickenham's an interesting one. As, oh, you're pulling away and there's a full train load now at Twickenham. Well, that makes sense, doesn't it? 
They were taking the Express before, which doesn't exist anymore. No, oh, this, this platform here was quite busy. And, oh goodness me, we're not even, let's just uh, pause that. Wasn't expecting this to be fair. This has got very popular very quickly. We've got a line rate of 184. The problem we have is we're not clearing this platform at all. I'm a little bit hesitant, shall I say, to uh, to just throw another train on there. But looking at it, it looks a bit rough, doesn't it? At Twickenham. Where's our other train? Is it all the way up there? I can't see it. It's on the way back now. Um, oh, There's only 37 there, but that's because we're not shifting people. What we got here? Ooh, that's just changed the game. Guys, we have new 75 mile an hour wagons. After I just tweaked all of our lines. <laughs> well, isn't that just typical? The reason it's changed the game is because you'll remember... We had the issue over here, didn't we? Uh, with me accepting the fact that our crocodile is three miles an hour slower than the the wagons, meaning we lose quite a bit of money each year. It was, I think it worked out like either possibly a quarter of a million we lost. It might have been less than that, eight, an eighth of a million. It was like 120. 5k i can't remember the figures and i don't have them to hand i wasn't expecting uh new wagons but yes that's with a three mile an hour difference now imagine multiplying that loss with the uh the much quicker wagons for instance it now writes off this crocodile because this only does 56 miles an hour meaning we're only going to do six miles an hour over the 50 of these wagons meanwhile our other uh, trains that we could use do well let's take a look manage vehicle edit selected vehicle let's go to electric yeah we've got this one which can do 62 miles an hour which is a, a huge difference what do these do 56 yeah and then we've got <laughs> we've got the the light express train but since that doesn't matter in transport fever because you can just stack these this would give you the full 75 it's an unfortunate situation to be in right now i mean you're gaming it but you are optimizing your your profit and we can demonstrate that as well because this is going to this is going to drop off a bit of money for us so whatever this drops off we'll be able to calculate the difference between running say this versus uh, the lighter faster locos will it all balance out because we're going to need quite a few aren't we of the uh, smaller locos in fact, manage vehicle. What was the uh, the difference here? How heavy are you? 57 tons versus 119 tons. You can fit two RE44s in a BRE94. You like just get them in there, squeeze them in. But what would that give you as well? That's 11 million. No, <laughs> that's 11 million to buy. We don't care about how much it costs to buy. It's the running cost, 1.8 million a year, uh, 4,000 brake horsepower, 81, um, what's that, 81k should we go for? That's going to be 62, so slightly less on that, but the power is going to be 5,000 brake horsepower for the two. And uh, it's going to be slightly more expensive, obviously, because all maintenance pricing is based on the power. Then we got this one, which would be, uh, yeah. Yeah, we don't even need to look at that. We could, <laughs> I don't like the idea of it. We could top and tail the, this consist anyway. Right, are we dropped off? 
Yes, we have. Perfect. Have we missed our... No, we've got some. Would you got two? I think you've just pulled in. Yeah, we missed our connection, guys, because we're just heading off, aren't we? Six mile an hour. Right, time's gone forward a bit. I uh, I was going to write down some figures, uh, but I was not prepared, and it's only going to make this recording a little bit bizarre. So what I'll do, because I, I keep each save available, I'll work out the differences, and we're going to just change these over to the new wagons. We've got this one and the food one that are going to benefit from the extra speed. All we're going to do for this one is change over to the new wagons and I think what that's what we can do with the other one as well although I feel like the the right way to do it financially is to have our fastest loco on there but for this we're going to drop off these goodies we're going to swap over to the faster wagons which means we will be doing 56 miles an hour so how many we're going to need somewhere close to what we currently have which is 423 so if we go close to 400 yeah 420 there we go what's the current weight on this there we go uh 589 tons let's see 539 ton we're lighter brilliant so we're going to be quite a bit quicker uh, we'll ignore the fact that we've gone over the end of the platform there. Uh, what's that? Uh, well, was that just a good guess? We're at 12.15. It'll be interesting to see how that pans out. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's changed. We'll ignore that, though. We should have better loading speed as well. You know, I didn't check. Should we check rather than guess? Uh, loading speed on this times three versus times two. Perfect, guys. That's going to be an improvement all around, obviously. And it's only the the mid, no, there's the third iteration, isn't it, of wagons. You've got the slow, slow ones, and then you've got the, the ones we have been using. Then these, and then I believe, I believe there's one more set, the modern set, which are, allow us to go a bit quicker. But we'll definitely uh, see how that works. I do like those. We should have had them back. Silver, though. Yeah, I just placed them on there. Should we speed this guy up? It would be nice. We could possibly take advantage of uh, a more powerful low coat and a better top speed. Because we do almost get... To, well, in fact, there we go. We are at top speed by the time we get up the top here and heading downhill we are definitely going to get to the point where we can uh, we can floor it down the hill and if we can get the frequency closer to this one that'd be ideal as we'll always be picking up our goodies to deliver otherwise we miss the odd connection don't we right when you get in here we're going to replace you with a faster loco. We're going to have to keep an eye on the uh, line rates, though. Because he's going to go over, isn't he? By quite a way, otherwise. It's going to be a little bit overkill, what I'm about to do. To uh, say the very least. But, uh, do we just want to straight replace? Yes, we do. We're going to build a new consist. If we match whatever we have at the moment 180 which we can exactly then we can uh, I, I guess we could go with this 62 I don't think we're ever going to reach the 75 but we can we can toy with it this one might work how are you compared to the it's actually a solid replacement for the crocodile <laughs> that is, is it really a freight loco no not really but uh i mean sure it pretty much matches it doesn't it attractive effort and it's and it's got better power this re and it would indeed if we could get up to the 75 of the wagons that would be impressive loading speed that's impressive 
I, I don't know what that means on a loco. Interesting. Right, let's do it. And we'll match that 180. I think we can probably drop a wagon off there as well. What's the weight difference as well? 128 tons versus 57. I mean, it's just too good. Well, we're doing it. Oh, should we color these ones? We'll go with that off orange there. And we'll put, I don't know how many, 100. I think 180 is going to be too much. I'm going to say 165 and see where we land. Ooh, we could always remove one, couldn't we? Yes. Go 180. Let's just do it. 180. There we go. We've got what I feel is a, a passenger loco on there. But we'll see. What's the line rate saying? 408. Well, that would be pleasant if that was correct. But uh, we're going to have to keep an eye on this, aren't we? And away it goes. It's got no problems pulling away, which isn't surprising. We've got more power and the tractive effort is roughly the same as the crocodile, except we can do a maximum speed of 75 with our fancy new wagons here, which makes me all sorts of happy. I like this in orange. Yeah, that looks lovely, doesn't it? Uh, we'll get on board, I think, for the return journey and call it there. How's our... Yeah, we haven't we haven't upgraded. Have we even <laughs> we've got worse on our score? That's fantastic. We're in the middle of a transition now. That's what we're going to have to do, isn't it? When we come back, we're going to have to get us some uh, some beefy wagons on. Go and do that food run. And for now, I want to see how this does. I'll grab us some figures, guys, and try and work out the difference on. Uh, what we've gained on this for six miles an hour and then compare that to adding two of these on that which is way more powerful and then we'll move on to the next ones it won't be a big lengthy numbers thing it will just be the the cliff notes yeah that's all we're going to go for and what sort of speed we're nearly reaching 75 so it was a good idea to uh, place that on there that's impressive. You go, you powerful little loco, you. We've got the faster loading rate as well, which is absolutely ace for uh, all of our connecting lines. All right. We're, what are we down to now? If we can get this down below five minutes, that would be brilliant. I don't know how we're going to do up the hill. We're going to have to just see what that's like together. Uh, you're filling up. I just want to take a quick look at the guesstimated line rate. 442. Well, we'll end it there, guys, and get on board. All right, guys, I saved it. I'm going to go away and uh, get my calculator out and a bit of pen and paper and just see what the, uh, the difference is between 75 mile an hour and 56 mile an hour on how much they're willing to pay us. But this one... This new uh, setup we've got is a bit quick, although I'm going to let it run up here and back before I, I call that the actual line rate. Obviously, it's a lot slower heading up the hill and uh, it will balance out then. Are we going to get uh, anywhere close to 47 miles an hour, which was our maximum speed before? And uh, we only achieved that just before the first tunnel I think wasn't it yeah I'm gonna sit on this with you while we head up here I, I'm curious to see what sort of speed we get up to well there we go there's the answer we've surpassed uh, 47 miles an hour and we've gone past 50 as well brilliant that was worth it wasn't it but it's uh, yeah it, we've overdone it a little bit it does bode well for the future, though, if that upgrades again, we can stick a lot more wagons on this. I enjoyed that one, guys. A little bit of uh, tidying up. And then we got new wagons. I mean, the odds on that. It was almost guaranteed, wasn't it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, lots of uh, new wagons for our big coal trains as well. Our big iron trains. We just tidied those up as well. We'll balance them, guys. We'll get them... Uh, they'll be a, quite a bit shorter, won't they? And a little bit lighter as well. 
So everything's just better. Faster loading speeds, lighter trains. It's great. Well, there you go. This train is impressive. I like it. And the loco is impressive and not far off the Swiss crocodile as far as tractive effort goes. Next time out, new wagons galore and extension, I guess, would be good to to our other city, which for the life of me, I cannot remember. What's the other city? I can't remember. After, after Risborough. Oh, it'll come to me. By the end it will, because I'll look. But yes, we'll extend our passenger line to the, uh, the next city along the express line. Guys, thanks again for watching. And until next time, take care.